Hey people, what's going on? Broken Puppet, back with another tutorial for you today. Today we're going to be drawing like 10, I think it's 10, uh, small butterfly designs. We're going to make a whole sort of flashy at these, we're going to cover the whole paper. Um, all going to be different as well. But yeah, just kind of, you know, they all sort of kind of classic designs. You know, because butterfly is just a really kind of classic old one that everyone likes. Um, just really fun, really cute, really quite easy to draw, you know, if you know what you're doing. So hopefully it's going to help you. If it's your first time to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. And if you can, just click the little like button and, you know, leave a comment if you want to. No, you haven't got to, but it's always appreciated. Alright, people, here it goes. So I'm gonna make this flashy, so I'm gonna start off drawing in the corner of this bit of paper for this one. So I'm gonna sketch in the first one. So I'm gonna start off with a little circle just like that. Off of that circle. I'm gonna do a slightly bigger circle. Then off of that circle, coming down, gonna get a curve, I'll kind of loop around, come back up. So you're kind of making this kind of sort of like teardrop kind of shape upside down. So a little bit chunkier here, a little bit thinner here. Come off the back just here, I'm going to bring this up. So it's going to come up. Make sure this one's, you know, longer than the rest of the wing, you know, the lines, because um, it's going to be the longest part of the wing. And this one we're going to bring up first like this, and then I'm going to curve it down once. Curve it down twice. Curve it in a third time. And you want to make sure they kind of like, you know, if you sort of like draw this to the center of it, it kind of comes to a point as if it's going to connect. So this one loops around and this loops around into it. So you've got that one down there and then this one down the bottom. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to come down, I'm going to write a curve. And kind of come back up just a little bit lower than we did there, but back into that position we started in. And just in the bottom part here, I'm going to create a little loop just coming down. Curve around and back into that. So you've got that wing just there. This next wing, I'm going to bring here, it's going to come up, and just behind that one, just like that, like so, just off the head, we're going to do a little curve, a little curve just there. And now we've got the basics done, I'm going to go into pen, I'm just going to pen it all in, um, I'm going to sort of like sketch each one, pen it in, and then we'll come back at the end and colour them all in together. So we're going to start with the basics, so it's got a sharpie here, just classic kind of sharpie, and I can use this, it's a nice chunky sort of pen, it's got a really nice kind of bold outline. So it's going to put in that base outline we've just done there. And once we've got this outline in, we'll come in and put in some more detail bits. So just bring this across, just keep lying on it nice and smooth if you can. And that varies from person to person, I tend to find that putting a fair bit of pressure down on it kind of helps get your line work nice and smooth. So you've got a basic outline for this one. So it's gonna look something like this. And then what I'm gonna do is start modifying it, start putting a little detail, so in the center here. I'm just gonna put a bit of black just in the center bit, just there. Inside this bottom part of the tail, I'm gonna go curve, 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 curve. So it's breaking some little curves, just come down the bottom. This back part of the wing just here, I'm gonna curve up, curve up, curve up again. So you're basically just mimicking that outside line just creating a secondary line that's about the same kind of width. Cross this bottom bit here, I'm going to create this curve in like this. I'm going to create a secondary curve just there. Coming from this part just here, I'm going to create this little wavy line just coming down. Come way back up. And whatever I do on one side, I'm going to make sure I try and replicate similarly on the second side. And just here, I'm going to put one curve, going into a second curve, just like so. I'm going to go dot. Dot, 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 So that's your first one. You know, real nice, simple, really basic, you know, it's probably about as simple as you can kind of get for that one. No, but again, it's just really cute, it's really simple, and it's just a really nice one to do. So now we've got that one, now, let me go to this corner now. We'll do each corner, and we'll slowly come down to the centre. So this one, I'm going to do another circle, right here. A bit similar to the other one, so I'm going to do another sort of circle just here. And then this one's going to come down to a bit of a point like this. This wing is going to come off a bit more kind of sort of straight. I'm going to curve off, I'm going to loop this back in. I'm going to create this loop, and this loop's going to come out a bit further than the other one did. Come back like so. I'm going to bring this one up like this, curve this down, then curve there. So you see it's a bit more of an angle this time, so the wing's kind of a bit more on the show this way. And this bottom one's going to curve outwards like this. I'm going to create a curve here. 
Curve that one in there. And just put a hint of a curve just there at the bottom. Again, just going to create a little antenna, so I'm going to do a little curve, a little curve just there. So that's the basic body shape. So again, I'm just going to come in with a marker now, and just put that in there. So just go over everything we've just done, just real simple. Just making a nice, nice bold outline. Just like so. Just like that. So you've got the basic outline there. And once you've got a basic outline, you can come in and sort of make other sort of changes. So here I'm going to go in this sort of bottom part of this tail. So rather than doing the stripes on this one, I'm going to do a bit similar to what we've done on the top half of the other one. And then mimic the shape and black that one out. Just like that. And just to kind of reverse the other one, this time I'm going to put little lines just in that part of the body. You, know? you can always do that. You can always flip this around if you want. You know, if you can't sort of think of what to do, sort of try something different, maybe just try flipping around um, what you do for each section. This one here, I'm going to create this line coming down here. I'm going to wave this one back. So you're going to come in, little wave, come back. Little secondary line in there, just mimicking it. Just like that. Curve this one back like this. Put another little curve back just there. Bring that one, just right on those curves, I'm going to bring these lines. on the inside of each one of these just like so and you've got this bottom part here I'm going to create this nice curve just come off that bottom bit and a little circle just in there right there a little hint of that circle just there so that's the second one done I said we'll come back and we'll do all the shading for all of them now we're just going through different sort of styles different kind of ones we can do so now we've got that one done I'm going to go one a bit more sort of symmetric now so I can do this one I'm saying the sense of it just up here I think and a bit of an angle slow. And a little circle. Now where I've got a circle, I'm going to sort of divide that into two circles. Two smaller ones, like this. So you've basically got a little bit underneath, two circles on there. The back here, I'm just going to create a similar sort of circle shape to this, but I'm going to come to a point at the bottom. Just like that. And then the bottom part, I'm going to curve down. And around. It's going to be thinner at this stage and just get wider to the bottom. Almost kind of reminiscent of a dragonfly, just a little bit shorter. Now, if you still want to be a butterfly, I'm going to bring that line up like that. I'm going to bring this up on this side. I kind of sort of try to keep it as symmetric as I can, really. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this curve coming down like this. Come to that point, and then just kind of mimic this what you've done. So, try and bring that curve coming down like that. The same point. Now just keep sketching it in there until you kind of feel this rough sort of symmetric kind of sort of shape. Now very kind of important at this stage you want to make sure it's symmetric. I'm going to create this curve coming off of here and when I get to here I'm just going to curve back around like so. So curve and curve back just there. Off the head I'm going to create this antenna it's going to curve off this way. This one's going to curve off that way. And once we've got this sort of rough sort of shape where we know kind of where everything is, then we're going to come in then so we're going to sort of like slightly detail certain things. So I'm going to come off the side, I want to create this edge. Rather than kind of being pointy like the others, I'm going to curve this edge like this. I'm going to curve this down. I'm going to create a bit of waving edge. So it's going to curve in once, curve twice, then curve a third time. So it's going to be really nice soft in general, this one. So it's going to curve once, curve twice, and then curve in. This bottom section here. I'm going to create this little kind of swell, really kind of classic old school kind of swell. So I just leap around, come outwards. So now I've got that, I'm going to come back in with a pen and just go everything we've just done. Create one eye, create two eye. A little bottom bit of the face. Bring that down to the point we've done. Create that curve nice and strong. One, two, Three. Okay, this one up. One, two, three. 
get this one down, put it back into it. Same on the other side. And then those bottom flicks just curve around, flick out, curve around, flick out. Now inside body bit, just like that. And then the antennas, just like that. So you've got this basic kind of body shape. And once you've got this basic body shape, you can sort of come in again and we just make it more detailed, make it more fun. So I'm going to come down from the side. I'm going to mimic that outside line just for a little bit so it gets about here. I'm going to curve it back and make this stripe. So I'm going to curve down, set that to two, curve back, make the stripe. Coming towards the center bit just here, I'm going to create a curve, a little bump, a little curve, a little bump. Now I'm going to mimic that shape again. Just like that. And this bottom one, create this teardrop shape like this, teardrop shape there. It's got a great little curve just here, little curve just there. And then I'm going to curve little stripes at the bottom of the tail just there. And then this inside of that black, seems to have done the other one. So there's three butterflies in there. So now we come up to a fourth one. This one I'm going to put in this space, I think. So once you start kind of building them up like this, I like to put like a rough circle so you kind of know the area you're kind of working with. So I'm going to kind of fit in this area. So I'm going to sketch it in so it kind of fits in this area. So I've got a sort of circle, so I'm going to do a line kind of cut in half. So I know that's the rough sort of shape I want. So I'm going to add this one a bit sort of symmetric and a little bit similar to this one, um, just slightly different in a few aspects. So I'm going to start off with two circles, so like those eyes we've done. I'm not going to do that under part for this one, I'm just going to do a bigger circle just underneath. This is going to come down to a point. Curve that one back up just like that. And this line's going to come out. Go sharp to a point. Just be careful you're not kind of overlapping it too much. Sorry about that, I forgot to charge my battery on that one. So, yeah, just um, curve your line out. Make them back, you know, even that. But just remember, we've got this one's close to this one. I don't want to sort of cut into this butterfly. So, I want to make it that length. So this one's going to be a touch bit shorter, I think, just there. Once you get to this edge, I'm going to curve it in like this. It's going to curve down to a point. And we're going to go one. Two, and this one's going to kind of curve up to that point there. So create that curve just there. To that point, just curve this one down. Create that loop. Second loop, just going to extend that third one just there. Once got done, I'm going to create this curve coming down here. It's going to curve down and it's going to come to a point again. And this one's going to curve up like so. It's going to curve down to a point go back up like so got this little antenna just there one just there this one now we've got the outline done we'll do the same thing we've done before do the outline then I'll do the inside patterns so I want to go eye eye circle for that middle bit get that nice sharp edge at the bottom so, one, two, curve up to a point, curve your line back down, come up to a point, swirl it down, curve, back up to your point. So it's all about just creating different kind of shapes of them. They haven't, got, they haven't got to all be the same shape, you know, you can play around with the shapes. You know, and once you've got a certain amount of sort of shapes in your head, you can kind of mix match and make hundreds of these. You know, um, it's just kind of building up that bank in your head of just what you can do and what you can't do, really. So now we've got this done, I'm going to get the inside bit, so I'm going to come from this bottom section just here, I'm going to curve this up, and then curve it out slightly just towards the tip. So curve up, 
slide out towards the tip, secondary line just there, secondary line just there. Then where I've got these lines in here, I'm going to go curve back, curve back, curve back, curve back. Then it's in between these lines, I'm just going to curve these lines up, like so. So I'm going to curve up to the line, curve down, kind of mimic the outside line, mimic the outside line just like that. Real simple. And this bottom part here, I'm going to create this curve that's going to loop around the bottom, just like this. And I'm going to create a bit of a circle just inside it, just like so. Now this one I think I'm going to, just for something different, I'm going to go spot, 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 just there. Just inside bit I might just put a line just through the centre, just because why not, it just makes it a little bit different. So that's four outlines done. So I come down, make another one. This one, which one should I do this time? Two side ones that way, that way. There. I've got another. Let's do this cute little flower one actually. Um, I've done one of these a little while back, and I really liked how it turned out. So I'm going to start off with a circle, a little circle inside it. It's going to cut this in half like this, and then divide that into six. So put an X in the middle. And I'm going to create these edges curving around just like this. Get them roughly about even. A little bit wide there, got a bit wider with that X. You know it's even when you're doing these curves and they kind of feel about the same sort of size. So basically I'm going to start off with this little flower. This flower is kind of going to be like the base. So once you have this done, a little circle just there. I'm going to create wings coming off of this. So I'm going to curve up like this. Come down from this line just here. I'm going to curve this up and around. So I'm going to loop around because I want to make this very kind of reminiscent. It's almost like a flower butterfly. So I'm going to create this line coming here. I'm going to create this nice kind of sort of bump edge, almost like it's a petal. Same on this side. I'm going to curve this one out like this. Curve down from here, almost like it's a, like a rose petal or something. Curve there. Come down from this bottom bit, let's bring that line down a touch. Just gonna get the idea where we want to put the bottom of that. And this one's gonna leap out. I wanna make this one very quite curving, coming back. Just like this. Just like that. A bit similar, I might just put a little swirl on the bottom of these ones just as well. I'm going to make these two circles actually a little bit shorter looking at it. There we go. Then you've got your antennas. Kind of going the other way. So yeah, you're going to have like this one. It's going to be almost kind of sort of like a little flower based kind of version. So I'm going to draw this one in. I'm going to send a bit, rather than send a bit in a, as a circle, I'm going to do it in dots. So I'm just going to go around that circle shape. With dots. It's going to bring out those little lines to begin with. Curve around each one of those. Just like so. Got those outside wings. like that. A little curve up for your bottom section. Put that bottom curve in there. And just create this little flex just off the end. Just like that. So that's the basic kind of outline for it. And like I said, I want to make this one very kind of almost like kind of flower based. So I'm going to sort of like, you know, try and use inspiration from sort of like flower bits. So the, the way I would normally say do um, the, uh, the leaves on the outside of a rose. So I'd normally have my little stem that's coming up. And then the pattern for that would normally be a curve, a 
curve. Okay, I've gone to a point. So aligned and a curve, curve, okay, I've gone to a point. And there's just little line, just little line just there. Little line, little line just there. Little circle, little circle just there. A little curve on this edge. And again, if I was doing a flower, I sort of do my little kind of outside leafy bits. Kind of like that. So you have like a little kind of flower butterfly. You know, I don't often see this kind of ones, but I don't you know. I saw someone there ages ago, but I can't remember who it was. I'd like to give him credit, but I don't know who it was. I just ran it past it on Instagram. And uh, yeah, it's a bit different. They had a different kind of flower sort of thing, you know, but um, yeah, that's kind of where the inspiration come from. If you know who that is, drop in the credit, drop in the credits. I'd like to give him credit. I just can't remember who it was because I saw it once on Instagram and it was gone. That's the problem with Instagram. Sometimes you sort of go through there and stuff just disappears. So it's hard to kind of keep track of giving people credit if you uh, get an idea from something. So now we've got that one done. I'm going to come down to here again. So again, I'm going to start for the circle. I'm going to get another circle. This one's going to come down quite to a point. I'm going to curve that one so it's a bit sort of more sharp at the bottom. Let's go into the antenna, just curve the other way for a change. Can get this wing coming off. So this one's going to come up a bit more than the other ones. So it's going to come along a bit further to a point. Gonna curve that in. Come here. And when I get here, I'm going to rotate that tip just there. So see, it goes this way, and this time you get like a rotation on the bottom. Come from behind this one. I get this one curve around. And this one's going to have a fair bit of rotation on it as well. It's going to curve there. And what I'm going to do is I get to the bottom part here. I'm going to create this nice big sort of chunky loop that comes to a bit of a sort of twist at the end. And that can connect up to there, like so. So you've got that body shape. And this one's sort of like a perfect side profile. So I mean, you can add a second one in the background if you want. Um, this one is sort of quite different, so sort of you don't really necessarily need to do that. So. Get this one. I'm going to create this other little loop just here, just kind of create a bit different. You know, the rules are pretty much yours and what you want to do. You can sort of break certain rules. I mean, it's not exactly how butterfly shape looks, you know, but it looks really cool. You know, with old school, as long as the shape has like a really nice kind of sort of cool shape to it, um, it can often work. And it's not actually like the way the actual animal is. Uh, that's part of the beauty of old school, in my opinion. So you've got that shape. Really like the shape of this one. And now we've got this one done, I'm going to go... Big curve. Big curve just there. Get a secondary curve just there. A small bit just there. This outside bit here, I'm going to go like this. So you've kind of got this jaggedy kind of edge coming in. Inside these bits, I'm going to do a circle, 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 circle. This bottom part coming down here, I think I'm going to go. Split in the middle. Create this come back. I'm gonna to get to about here. I'm gonna create a secondary curve just here. Just like that. So I've got the outline now, so we've got two, four, got six. So I've got to try and squeeze four more onto here, I think. See so if we can squeeze four in here. So for this one, I'm gonna go, well, if we just mark in a section, so we go one here, one, two, three, four. And that kind of fit all of them. So the mark up so the uh, angles of these are just all different kind of directions. Now just so there's not too so much similarity. So this one kind of goes this way, this one goes this way. So 
this way, I might have to go the opposite way. That one's gonna go that way. That way you kind of got a bit of all the kind of directions going on. It just makes it look much more fun, a bit more kind of interesting. So this one, I'm gonna go circle, circle. I'm gonna give this one like a little hands as if it's kind of sort of standing on something. Like a bit's kind of curve any other way. Go there. This one's wing is going to come back go this way. This one can go there. So going to go up, curve down behind that. This one can go there. You might get hit at the second one just in the back there, if you want. So I'm going to bring this over so I can see it more clearly, so that's in the center. So you see we've got a little circle, circle, this one's kind of pointing back outwards. We've got little legs here, I might put a little leg just there as well. This would be like a great one if you want to kind of sit on something. So I'm going to do that. Going to just leave like a little highlight dot on that one. Get a circle shape. Curve around. Get this back wing shape in here. Back wing hint just there. That one just there. Antenna just there. Look hands just there. Now I've got the outline bit done, I'm going to do a little detail, so this one I'm going to do stripes down here, I'm going to do stripes very close together this time. Just like that. And then for this background bit, let's have a look, let's go. Make that outline shape and then kind of curve it in towards the top, so rather than just copying the shape, you flick it inwards. This one I'm going to go... One, two, three. I'm gonna do like a little color line in between these. Um, but I'll do that with the color as we do it. I'll give it a hint of what you can in the background just there. If you can't fit it all, then don't worry. Just kind of fit what you can. And around this outside edge, I'm gonna go one, two, three. So kind of mimicking that. And like I said, just do the best you can on the other side. You know, once you kind of get your maximum amount of detail, don't worry about it. You know, just kind of put what you can. And once we have that, one nice big circle just there, one there. Uh, and just on this bottom part just here, I might do a little circle just there as well. So that's well one done there, and now we move down to the last three outlines. So for this one, I'm gonna go another sort of like kind of sort of back facing one. This one, the body, I'm going to need the body as like a whole big sort of thing rather than doing a separate bit. Two circles at the top. And line across, curve this out. So come across, you know, curve up from this line like this. Curve out there, so it goes roughly, roughly even ish. Need to bring that down a touch. Just that. Secondary lines come in there, so it's sort of that sort of shape, so it comes down and curves there. And then this third one and wraps there. Then this bottom one curve there, create a secondary curve on the outside. And then the third to that one. So we're going to loop it around like this, create a loop, and then another loop. Just pin that in so you can see. So we've got the eyes, bottom part of the face, the body like I said is this whole big bit like this. And then we're going to bring this line inwards, outwards, cut that curve in there, curve up there, cut that curve in. Create that curve, 
rotate that curve, that curve. Sort of style one. This one's going to come out, and the tip one's going to kind of make a bit bolder than the other, so you kind of get a bit more of a thicker tip on the edge. So once we've got this one done, so we'll work out one done the inside part. So, so this one, I don't know, great. Curve up, curve up, curve up, curve up, curve up. Curve up like that. Like in that mouth bit just there. Then I've got just at the top. Little line detail to separate the two. And then for this outside bit. I'm just gonna create this nice little spine pattern come down from the top. Then a circle in this one. And these bottom bits just gonna loop, 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 loop. So I've got that one. And then so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we've got four front facing ones. I do another sort of side angle kind of one. So I do this. Little circle, little circle inside this one. And I got the okay, little loop on the back. Another loop, another loop. So his back's kind of made up of three kind of loops there. Just gonna curve around. A bit similar to the first one we kind of done. So let's get more of a sort of smaller, kind of cuter kind of body. This one's gonna come up. I'm going to curve that edge up and then kind of curve it outwards. Just going to curve there. Curve there. Curve up into it. Now I'm kind of mimicking the shape in the background just there. This one's going to loop around just like so. So we've got a sort of ball bit on the back. Just had to grab a bit of them kind of shape. So now we've got that done. Again, just going to go another pen. So a circle for the eye. A circle around the eye. The antennas. One, two, three bits around the body. Put that bit in there. One loop, two loop. Three loop. This one curves inwards this time. A little ball bit of back just there. And I don't think necessarily need that secondary bit down there. You can put it in if you want. I put it in there just in case you want it or not. Um, I probably wouldn't normally add that little secondary line just in there, but it's up to you. But I'll put it in there just in case. Just another option. So for this one, I'm thinking the kind of circle, small circle just going inside that. This outside bit, I'm going to loop around here, loop around there, loop back into that. Then I think a little circle just in there. So I'm going to get hit in the loop. Second over the loop, the other circle just there. And I'm going to put some on this bottom one as well. So I'm going to loop this around. The secondary loop, so we can see it. I'm not going to wrap up in detail on the inside part just there though. This is not really enough room for it, so sometimes I think it might be best just without it. So you've got that one just in there. So now you've got this last one. So I'm going to have his wings coming out, bring his head down a touch, so I've got a bit more space actually. 
I've got a circle just here for his head. Again, shape for the body. And this is going to curve up. It's going to come down. And then for this part here, I'm going to do a circle for this bit. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of spike it so it's going to curve, but in the opposite direction around this bottom part. I've seen it a few times, this sort of effect. Um, it seems quite popular. I'm not really too keen on it, but I sort of teach it because I see it quite often, which means people must kind of like it. So I see more clearly now we're surrounded the pen, so have a little head this time. Body shape, I'm gonna bring this wing up. I'm gonna go one, two, three. It's a fourth curve. One, two, three. Into a fourth curve. Then you're going to see this outside part here. So we're going to go curve, 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 curve. So we're going to go curve, 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 curve. I think I've done one too many on that bit. Bring in the antlers. So you've got this kind of body shape. And then once you've got this, I'm going to mimic this outside line. Just go curve, 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 curve. One coming down, one going up. And then down here, I'm going to mimic this kind of shape. So let's go down. Just like this. I'm going to get a circle just in the middle of it like that and then for this outside part I think maybe some lines across just like that so now we've got that done I'm going to rub out the pen to work and then we come in just going to get the markers and sort of put our uh, colouring and shading in there and depending on what pen you use, make sure you're giving your pens enough time to dry. You know, Sharpies dry pretty quick, um, especially if you're doing them on, like, say, Bristol board. Uh, but certain sort of pens, you know, certain kind of inks, you know, sometimes take a little bit longer. And if you try rubbing out too quick, you're going to rub out, well, you're going to either rub it out, or you're going to smudge your line work really bad, and it's just going to really kind of ruin the image, so don't do that. I'll try and show each one of these a little bit differently if I can. Um, I reuse a few sort of little techniques in certain areas, but I try and make sure each one's a bit different. Right, I think that will do for the ruin. So now we've got that done, so you can see you've got 10 bottles in there, make sure 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, got 10 on there. And I'm going to use Windsor and brush markers for this. So it looks something like this. You can use Copics, you can use water paints, whatever you want. Um, I like these, they're pretty good, they're fairly cheap. Uh, and yeah, just fun to use. So I'm gonna use those, I'm gonna use the gray shades. I'm gonna use the cold gray shades, so they're gonna be the CG3, uh, CG1 to CG4. If I can buy my number four, where are you? There you are. So I'm putting all the black gray shading first, then we're coming to the colors afterwards. So the idea is I'm gonna go black, and then just kind of work my way down from that. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to colour in all the areas that I kind of want generally solid black. You know, so it's going to be quite a few. So I'm going to start off with, say, this one. Um, for this one, I'm going to have this back section just here, solid back. And then I might make, say, the tip of these bits, solid black. It's worth remembering, what old school, black is a very, like, viable colour for colouring. You know, you can use it on anything. You know, it's not like a forbidden colour. You know, it's um, very much, uh, it's very much needed with old school. You know, if you don't have black, it just doesn't quite look right. So now I'm gonna put a bit of black shade in this one. So I've got a bit of black at the top. I'm gonna come in with a gray tone, like the darkest one. And I'm gonna use a side to side motion. I've probably seen this before. Um, side to side's much better for blending out. And we're just gonna go through the dark ones, the light ones. If you're using watercolor, you know, just kind of watercolor it out the way you do watercolor. If you're using pencil, it's just got like a nice kind of gradient coming down. You know, just use kind of common sense to kind of sort of switch up, you know, between mediums. So a little bit of black just coming down from there. 
Um, I need a little bit, so I want black in there. Let me think. Um, I might have a little bit of black just kind of fading out from this inside part, actually. So I, I really like putting sort of black inside little kind of corners and stuff. You know, it just makes a really nice kind of way of blending it out. And just keep this kind of side to side motion going over the top. And remember, with the, uh, the lightest one, like this one, now when you first put it down, it's going to make the vapor wet, so it's going to look darker than what it's going to look like when it heals up, uh, when it dries up. So give it a chance to dry before you go putting your next bit on. So I think that'll do for black and grey for that one. I might add, um, just for the sake of doing a bit of shade, I might a little bit just here. And blend that out, just so you've got a little bit of shadow on the body. Just because why not? Come down to our next one. And across this way. So you're gonna go for this one. Uh, this one I'm gonna have black very heavily in this back section, I think. So I'm gonna go black here. Black at the bottom. And I'm gonna kind of fade them together, I think. Now you can go solid black in this bit, but I want this nice little kind of gradient just meeting in the middle. Now just remember, when you're sort of using markers, um, they carry on working for a couple of seconds after you finish using them. So as soon as you see the colours start to mix, just stop and just let the pens do what they do. You know, they will do, they will do the trick for you. You know, but um, if you keep going until it kind of gets to the exact tone you want, it's going to keep carrying on, uh, keep going on after that and kind of ruin it a little bit. So once you get the shade you want, you know, once you get near the shade you want, just kind of let the pen do the rest of the work. Same with watercolours, you know, you just don't want to overdo it. You know, it's very easy to overdo it. Here. Same thing, I'm just going to blend these down. Just blend over that bit. Come down my number two. Now I recommend going for each one of the shades, but every now and again I just skip a shade. I don't feel like it always necessarily needs it. So you've got black there. And because the black's quite heavy in that section, I'm gonna sort of put some black in the bottom bit. I think I might black out this bit just here. I don't often put too much black on these, but this one, I just think it looks pretty cool, so. Now sometimes, you know, just because you do something you know, quite often doesn't mean you can't try something different. And I like how it looks. I think it's got a nice kind of, sort of, kind of flow to it now. So yeah, I think I'll call it out for the background shading on that one. So now I come down to the next one. Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna have black coming down from this top section just here. Just here, and then coming down from the second one. And creeping into the third one. So you kind of get these three kind of sort of layer effects coming down. looks pretty cool and it makes it again makes a difference to so it's just kind of give you guys as many kind of options you know you kind of mix and match what you kind of see me doing here I'm just kind of treat teachers kind of many sort of different kind of sort of def different kind of techniques and ideas now because once you've got a bunch I said once you've got a bunch in your minds of what stuff you can do you can just mix and match and make hundreds of these so I'm just trying to help you guys just kind of get an idea of what can be done and just different ways of doing them So, I think I might make this bit here black, just for the sake of doing a black. Yeah, I like that. I might do this inside section just here as well. I'm going to put a little bit of black fade just coming up from the bottom part of the tail as well. Just another way of doing that kind of body section. And a lot of shading as well will be done with the colour. So I'm not doing it all with um, obviously black and grey. I'm just putting in the black and grey the way you'd 
the way I'll do it, if I was tattooing this, it's kind of what I'll do first. I'll do black and grey, you know, sort of shading first. So I'm just sort of like just cutting it in the same way I would sort of like do if I was tattooing it. You know, that's the uh, kind of thought process behind it. So I like that one, that's got like a nice kind of vibe going on. And you got this one just here, I'm going to add these little spikes on the back. Come down black. I might make this very bottom section black as well. I won't go so heavy to black on all of them. Um, I just kind of feel like these ones look really good with it. So if this one, I'm going to go black from the top and bottom on this bottom section there. Let's see, I'm going to go over this, just spread this down. Kind of sort of blend it to the centre. Quite like how that looks. I'm going to put some grey here. I'm actually going to have this as the colour for this section, so I want to kind of go grey in this section. Because when colouring in, grey is also another viable colour. You know, not everything has to be black, grey, or an actual colour. You know, don't be afraid to actually use grey as a colour. You know, it's one that a lot of people I see kind of like overlook and kind of forget about sometimes. I've got some grey just here in the background. But yeah, don't forget that, you know, grey is a very, very good colour for drawing and sort of tattooing. You know, I like that one, that's got a nice kind of vibe. This one's going to have the red stripe in that centre bit, so I don't want to go over those. Uh, what I might do for this one though, bits of one pure black. Um, I don't think I'm going to have too much pure black in this one. I'm going to have black coming from the top, just here, fading down. That back section just there. I think I'm going to colour most of this body part here, just leaving a little bit highlight just on that edge, just there. So when you can use a side to side motion because the side to side motion will give you a much better blend. Um, some areas it can be a bit tough to do that because the angle. You know, so if you have to sort of go sort of up and down motion, you know, like this, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but you're gonna generally gonna get better smoother blends you know, when you can go side to side. Yeah, but the colour's gonna really bring that one to life. This one just here. I'm gonna black out this section just here, I think. Might black out this section just here, so there's a bit of similarity between the two sections. And then I'm gonna go black here, but this black's gonna fade out. This isn't gonna be pure black. The same up here, I'm gonna get it fade from the top. Actually, this is going to have a double fade, so I'm going to kind of go fade from here to there to there. You know, so you can kind of see, see how it looks with a couple of shines, you know, rather than just one shine. You'll know, see what I mean when I do it. So I'm going to sort of shade down from this bit, but also up from here, and down from here. So I'm going to get this little highlight in this section and in this section. Building up really nicely. So that highlight just there. And it goes into a second highlight as it comes down. And then this one will just kind of fade to nothing down the bottom bit. I'm going to go a little bit black just down the center of this, like this. And then I'm going to fade again both ways out of this. Put a dark grey on both sides. And then I'm going to skip a couple of colours because it's a very small section, just come down to a much lighter shade. Just there. So you kind of get this sort of shadow going down the centre of it. I might also put that in that section just there as well. So grey either side. Just like that. Blend it out just there. 
just like that. Now I'm going to come over to this flower now. This flower one. So, areas I want pitch black, if any. Yeah, I think I might. I'm going to black in this section just here. Just like so. I'm black in those two little dots just there. But black in the head, but not all the way. I'm going to leave a little white stripe just across the top part of the head, just there. Like that. And then I might just have a little bit of black just fading down from these corners. Just there and there. I feel I'm going to make this a fairly quick fade out. I don't want this to sort of go too far down it low. Shades on those corner bits, just there. Just there, just there. Let's see, G1 got another bit of that. Oh, that's no, right there in front of me. Just looking at it, I was like, why is it sort of not going that way? And I was sort of looking at my hand and I ain't got the uh, lightest shade in my hand. Don't know what I've done with it. So yeah, I think that'll do. Most of the colors gonna go in this, so you know, the red and flower and stuff. So we're gonna come down to this one. This one I know what I want, I want black. Fading out from this inside section just here. Just there. I think I might have these black spikes down the bottom. Just like so. Dark grey. Just blend that black out. Blend it out there. Just keep that blend going until it goes to nothing. Like that. Like that one. Then we got this one here. Thinking. What am I thinking? We got black from the edges on this outside one. So it's going to be a sort of like the kind of freeway shading here. So I'm coming like from each one of the corners. Um, I don't often do it this way. It's just that this is another option. It does look pretty cool. But I have to admit, I don't often. Do it like from three corners. That's it. It's not because it doesn't look good. It's because it's yeah, just something I don't usually particularly do. So just keep working over your grey shades until you kind of fade it all together. Done here. I'm going to make this entire bottom part here black, and back part of the head there just black. Also, mm, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Kind of looking at, I'm thinking this looks good black as well. So I'm going to go black here. It's going to put a bit of grey tone just in this back. One at the bottom. Not carrying on the pattern with that, just like a kind of shader behind it. And once we got it done, we just got this one down here left. So for this one, I'm going to go black curving in this section, black curving in there. Same on the other side. So one thing I generally do, uh, most of my sort of like butterflies are usually um, symmetric. As you can wait, I think I've done all these kind of sort of symmetric. Um, butterflies usually are symmetric. Uh, but it might be worth playing around sometimes, just like, you know, with stuff that isn't symmetric, you know, sort of 
patterns that kind of sort of match but not the same. You might get something that's really cool with it. Uh, I might actually have to get that a go. Right. Unsymmetric butterflies and see what I can come up with. Be a challenge, but I think I could do it. Kind of break the mold of always being like symmetric of them. Get a gray shade coming down from this. Blending out. And then I'm going to come from this part of the one just here. I'm going to fade from this outwards as well. So this one's going to be fairly dark. And just keeping that sort of side to side kind of motion with it rather than the opposite way. And to that last shade. Just like that. So now we got all the sort of shades, you can kind of see how they all kind of look. You know, the shading really kind of brings them to life, then colour just really finishes them off. So we're going to go with colour now. So we're going to start off with this one and kind of go back through them again. Um, the old school ones, so I'm going to use sort of like old school kind of colours. So it's going to be a lot of red, um, a lot of yellow, um, a bit of blue, maybe a bit of brown and a bit of green. You know, I might find a couple of colours as well, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the main colours I'm going to kind of go for really. I'm going to start off with this one, I'm going to get my red out. This one is the berry red. So I'm just going to go over this back bit just like so. And back bit there just like so. And I like to make sure I use the colour at least twice in it, so. Come for this bottom part here, red. Now I'm going to come in with a yellow. I'm going to make this section here yellow. This section here yellow. And I might make this bottom part here yellow as well. Now we're done. I'm going to come in with green if I can find it. I like this forest green. It's one of my favourite colours to use. I have that there. And then I think I might make the face yellow as well. And I think that might do. What I might do just for just have a try. This might not necessarily work. It's one of those ones I'll probably have a thing about first, but I'm gonna give it a go. Just a little red, uh, sorry, green tip. Just around this edge. Yeah, I quite like that, that works quite nice. So that's one down. Let's go for this one next. So I'm gonna go yellow. That inside bit. Yellow in there. Get my reds. Get go red. Get a stripe. Red for that stripe. Center and red also here and at the bottom. And then I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to dull this down. It's not going to be quite as strong as this is initially. I mean, you can do if you want. You've got a nice big strong blue in there. But I like my blue to be just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit muted. So, what I normally do is get one of my cool grey tones, like grey tone one or two. And literally just swipe over the edge. Like so. Um, it's personal preference, you know, you might completely like it the opposite way around. It's just the way I like to do mine. Make it yellow with the eyes. And just redden that bit of the face just there. And now we've got that one done. Come to the next one. I'm thinking yellow. 
on this outside. I'm going to use a bit of brown in here as well to kind of sort of bring a nice bit of sort of shade to this yellow. Just make it a bit different. So I've got this. I need to find my uh, Mario. There we go. So I'm going to get my cinnamon tone. I'm going to have top. The same kind of area that we've done the black on the inside section parts. And just fade in with the yellow. So it's a little bit of sort of shadow, but. Um, the shading is done with the actual colour rather than the black. So we've got that section just there, I think. Sort of section just there. No, not a ball. These bottom bits. I'm just going to put a bit of brown just around that edge, just there. These inner balls. Change that from orange to red. These inside bits here red. I'm gonna leave little white stripes across that top bit low. Just because why not? Get red in there. And for this one, just wrap around on that body. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go brown there. I'm also going to go brown those bits, I think. I like that. Makes it a bit kind of autumn sort of thing, you know, it's a bit different. And then I come to this one just here. So I'm going to have this bit here grey, this bit here is going to be grey. Uh, so I can leave those colours as they are. I'm going to come in with my red. And what I want to do. Hold this where you can kind of see me doing it. What I want to do is try and leave a white edge around this stripe we've done. Fill in the area around it. Leave that little white stripe just there. The little red stripes under each one of these occurs in there. A little bit red just down the face, even that section. Then I come in with, I think, my yellow. So yellow here, yellow in that belly, and I might go yellow just in that space in between stripes yeah I like that it's got a core cool effect to it and I might do the same thing just on this bottom part of the body just there I like that one it's got a nice kind of feel to it going on so I come down to this one here now so I said this one I want a little red stripe just down the center of these bits so I'm gonna get a little red line Little bit's just there. Gonna be red over this section at the back. And it's gonna be green in this big section in the middle. Just like this. because I've got to this bit here. And then yellow can go and there and there. And you see a little bit of brown cinnamon tone. Just bring a little bit of shadow just in the yellow. one now. I know I definitely want this bottom part here yellow. This bit is calling to be yellow in my opinion. This bit here I think yellow as well. Yellow there. Yellow in the head. 
thinking for a change, I'm gonna have this bit here blue. Yeah, I quite like that blue. Just for a change. I'm gonna bring the blue down here. I'm not gonna quite touch the edge, I'm gonna leave a little white edge. Just on those corners. Coming with the red. this bit just here and then I'm going to fade this ring out so I'm just going to go down to this pinkish tone just slowly fade this red out just to show you, it doesn't always have to be a bold colour you can blend your colours down Get a nice kind of fade out with the red, and from there, yellow, 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 and red for the bottom, and blue for the top. This flower one. So I want reds Come around here. Bring this red almost to the edge, just in a little white highlight. Just like that. Reds on the tip of these bits, just down there. I'm gonna go green in this section. Green in this section. Yellow. Middle. In those bits. To get that blue and I'm gonna make this blue um, really quite sort of dull afterwards I'm gonna dull it down again it's not gonna be a luminous blue now, sometimes luminous blue works sometimes it doesn't I prefer like I said before I prefer the muted version so I'm gonna put that in grab my CG2 the grey just move that down it shows like a kind of muted sort of sky. Like that. And then green, green, green. So that's that one done. Come down to this one now. You can do this one. Red bit just here. Red there. And I'm gonna do the rest in yellow. I'm gonna this one just simply just two colours, you know. Sometimes two colours just works really nicely. A little bit of a Dennis the Manus kind of looking one. Just bring in these little lines. Through these sections, just here. Sometimes it's nice just to have little kind of sort of colours just come straight through it like that. Red there, red there. Yellow on the outside. Side part just here. Yellow, 
life for the body. There may be some green just in here, just in there. And just for, why not, just a little bit of a green face. And down to the last one now. Just over here in this corner. Just a little pretty boy. Just a bit of red. Get red in the centre bit. Red in the centre bit. Red in the centre. Red in the centre. And then we can go yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow. All the kind of open areas. And then blue for the others. Actually, I'm going to go. For, I'm going to try green. I wouldn't normally add this too many colours to it, but I'm going to sort of try to see it looks. It might work. It might not. Yeah, maybe would have gone blue, but I think blue would have been better. But you never know until we try these things, it's always worth trying. Put a bit blue in there just for sake of doing it. And there we go, people. That's how you draw 10 different old school butterflies. I hope that's helped. Make sure to check out my videos. You know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. I've got about, I think it's about 300 or so at a minute. Um, by the time you watch this, it's probably about another sort of 50 or 100 or so. But yeah, it covers everything from sort of tattoo drawing to other stuff. You know, make sure to give me a subscribe if you ain't sort of subscribed yet. Um, and yeah, people, just hope it helps. You know, if you sort of, you know, put on social media, make sure to tag me in it. I love seeing what you guys do. I'm um, often comment as well, so it's always worth doing it. But for now, people on the broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.